So where else is there evidence for evolution? Well, a great deal of evidence for confirming the relatedness of all organisms can be found using techniques used in comparative embryology. Comparative embryology is the study of um, embryos and their development in different animals. And comparative embryology helps to determine evolutionary relationships in nature. Usually a comparative embryologist okay, is a doctor or a researcher who studies comparative embryology. He or she examines the growing embryos um, at various stages of their development. Um, these here on the right are fetuses, but a comparative embryologist may study the early ball of cells called a blastocyst and their development into an embryo. And then finally their development into the last stage of development inside an organism's um, parent called the fetus. Notes on these comparisons can inform evolutionary biologists not only of the relatedness of different species, but also to the key developmental pathways um, or how we might be able to understand embryonic development due to the similarity in their formation um, in the womb. Ultimately, this knowledge can help us um, prevent or even cure disease. So it's important to remember that this important bank of evidence for evolution, um, or one important bank of evidence for evolution, is in fact from, stems from embryological evidence.